There are three very good reasons why I have absolutely no doubt that every single red-blooded man on this earth would secretly love to be in a deeply committed relationship. Big, bold claim, I know, but there are very good reasons, three of them actually, because no matter how commitment phobic you think some men are, as a man, I can tell you there's, there's so much more to the story because I think deep down inside, every single man wants to commit and would love to commit. But here's the caveat, it has to be the right woman. But before we talk about what these three reasons really are, let me show you something absolutely incredible. All right, come with me. They're hatching, they're hatching. Daddy. What do you got? Oh, no, no. <laughs> I ate sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's a baby cheeks. No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. No. Hmm. No. Okay, Daddy. Hey, don't touch it. Sing. Oh. We did it! Hey, it's Disha here, the founder of Commitment Triggers, where we teach you how to show up as a high value woman who easily inspires a deep sense of emotional commitment from men. All right, I know, I know, the baby quails are goddamn cute. Now, we've been incubating them for the last 17-ish days, and now they are hatching. But here's what I want you to understand about these quails. These baby quails may look vulnerable right now, but give it about an hour or so, they're walking around and feeding on their own. And give it a couple of months, they become sexually mature and females can start laying eggs. Yes, only a couple of months, two months. So these little birds need very little nurturing to survive and reproduce in the wild. Sure, these baby chicks may pick up a few things in nature from following their mother, like what they should eat and what they should avoid, but most of their survival instincts are already hardwired into them. Now look at us humans on the other hand. I mean, how long does it take a baby human to walk? to feed himself or herself, to sexually mature and become a productive member of humanity. Well, a long ass time, that's how long. See, a female quail could lay an egg a day, whereas a woman, a human woman, one baby and nine whole months of gestation, right? Not to mention, you know, breastfeeding and all that. So I guess reproductively, us humans are starting to seem pretty pathetic, right? Well, thankfully to make up for it, us humans are pretty advanced creatures. Well, at least most of us are. You may have a couple of exes who aren't so advanced, right? But the truth here is that us human babies come out so incredibly immature from a developmental sense that they need help with almost everything. Now, if you've ever had your own newborn, you probably know exactly what I mean. Some days, there just isn't enough time in the day to cook and feed yourself, let alone do anything else. Because newborns, toddlers, require so much attention and nurture, so much care, that women traditionally couldn't have done it on their own in the wild. Hence, the idea that it takes a whole village to raise a child. So I think we can all agree that human babies require an incredible amount of nurturing to grow and learn what it takes to survive. Whereas for these quails, it takes not even a fraction of a fraction of that kind of nurturing. 
And this is where male commitment comes in. See, there is no such thing as male commitment in the quail world because it simply isn't needed. The females don't look for a good dad in a male because it simply doesn't matter. The males don't have that instinct or desire to commit because baby chicks don't really need it to survive. So it's just literally a game of eat, procreate and get away from danger. But for us humans, our babies require the most nurture out of all the animals in the animal kingdom. So we're literally on the other end of the spectrum. And thus, as a population, women generally desire a man who has some qualities of a good father. And men have the instinct, the desire to want to commit and be a good dad. Now, I believe all men do, but whether they use it or not is a different story. And that depends on their upbringing, their beliefs, experiences, and most importantly, how the woman shows up in his life, the energy that she brings to the table. But we'll talk about that a little bit later on. So this brings me to the three reasons why all men secretly love to commit. Reason number one, you and I wouldn't be here if our male ancestors did not commit at least to some degree. Now that doesn't mean that our ancestors didn't have commitment resistance. So let's just get that straight. Commitment resistance is more to do with the context of the relationship and how the woman is showing up. But the thing I want you to really understand here is that every single man has the hard wiring to want to commit because our ancestors needed to rely on it at least at some point to some extent. There's absolutely no way for us humans to have survived the last 200,000 years without some form of male commitment, especially in times of resource scarcity. Because for the most part, it wouldn't have served humanity, the world or the universe if men simply left the woman and the kids to starve to death. I mean, that's not how you pass on your genes to the next generation, right? So for the last 200,000 years, there would have been many rewards for those men who used their instinct to commit. And the more it was rewarded, the stronger that particular instinct became. Now, here's what's important for you to understand. Just because every man has this instinct to commit, doesn't mean they'll use it, right? Us human beings all have many different strategies, especially when it comes to procreation and reproduction. We are super complex creatures, super advanced, especially in the way we socialize and interact with others. But it is important for you to know that all men, I believe, all men have the basic instinct to commit to a woman. All right, number two reason why all men secretly love to commit. It's because of the pair bond instinct. The pair bond instinct. So what is the pair bond instinct? Well, according to Wikipedia, a pair bond is a strong affinity that develops in some species between a pair consistent of a male and a female, or in some cases, a same-sex pairing, potentially leading to producing offspring and or a lifetime bond. In other words, it is literally the act of falling in love. Now, falling in love is nature's way of saying, you will be infinitely rewarded with feel-good hormones like oxytocin, dopamine, vasopressin, if you spend more time together and stick together because nature, mother nature knows how vulnerable human babies are and needed a way to ensure resources for their survival. And because of this biochemical storm that is falling in love, it is a stronger process than almost anything else keeping two people together. And I'm sure you can really relate to that. I mean, that is why we all know the story of Romeo and Juliet, not a story of a man committing because of you know, social pressures or his outstanding morals. So here's my question. Do quails fall in love? The answer is no. They don't form pair bonds. They don't need to. But for us human beings, we all have the hard wiring, the hardwired mechanism to fall in love and pair bond. Some scientists even believe that this mechanism evolved also largely for the prevention of infanticide, infanticide by competing males. Infanticide, the killing of infants. Because by killing a woman's baby, 
you stop her lactation and force her to become fertile quicker so that you can mate with her. That's what happens. Believe it or not, infanticide is incredibly common in mammals ranging from lions, meerkats, chimps, and even dolphins. But with a pair bond, there will be a male around to protect and defend both the female as well as the baby. Now, it's important for you to understand that pair bond is different to the idea of lifelong monogamy. In fact, there are many different types of pair bonds as suggested by evolutionary psychologists David P. Barash and Judith Lipton from their 2001 book, The Myth of Monogamy. They mention that there are many different types of pair bonds. There's short-term pair bond, long-term pair bond, dynamic pair bond, social pair bond. But let's not get into that conversation right now because that would mean that we're in for a long night. All right, reason number three of why men all men secretly love to commit. It's because commitment to the right woman feels better for men. Now, don't get me wrong here. All men have the most basic lizard brain instinct to pump and dump, but at the end of the day, that's a rather empty experience. It's like eating a piece of chocolate. I mean, it doesn't last very long and it doesn't give anyone a deeper meaning, right? And you're probably sitting there like, you don't know my relationship with chocolate. Now that doesn't mean that we should ignore our lizard brain and pretend it's not there. It just means that we don't, we can't always let that lizard brain control every action we take. I mean, after all, where do lizards live? Under rocks, right? See, what a deep commitment to the right woman gives a man is a deeper meaning, something to fight for and a feeling of purpose and it also gives them the oxytocin required to stay grounded and connected. See, us human beings, we're very social, we're social creatures, and our souls need to feel grounded and connected. And commitment to the right woman can truly fulfill the deepest part of a man. Now, here's something interesting. Some of the world's best pickup artists also prefer long-term relationships over one-night stands. Now, why is that? because it feels better to be invested in something, right? Now, of course, it has to be the right woman, but what does that really mean? It means he needs to perceive you as his one and only, and that has everything to do with how you show up and the energy that you bring to the table. So if you're in a position where you want to have, obtain more commitment from a particular man, then know this, the commitment process becomes infinitely easier once your man perceives you as his one and only. All right, so here's the good news. My lovely Renee is about to publish her brand new DVD appropriately titled Becoming His One and Only. Now, if you're not familiar with her work, then you definitely need to check it out. I'll make sure I'll add some links in the description below. Now, in this new DVD, Renee will be teaching the five secrets to have your man fall in love with you and beg you to be his one and only. This is all brand new stuff, brand new material that we've just shot recently and I'm certainly very excited. And here's the really exciting news. This is going to be absolutely free. Yep, I know, absolutely free. So if everything goes according to plan, it should be released very, very soon. And by the way, if you're watching this video after it's released, then I'll make sure I'll put a link in the description so that you can get yourself a copy of this because you wouldn't want to miss it. So here's what I want you to do. Go and subscribe to her YouTube channel, The Feminine Woman, because she will be uploading a video to announce when this DVD is officially launched and how you can get yourself a copy absolutely free. I don't want you to miss out. Again, all the links will be in the description below. Anyhow, that is all from me tonight. I hope you are well wherever you are, and I'll speak to you very, very soon. Oh, and if you want more cuteness, here's a little bit more for you.